Pittsburgh as Togo Cabrera went into the All-Star break looking like a valuable asset with Tuesday's non-waiver trade deadline looming. He'd accumulated the most first-half RBIs in his career and the third most home runs he'd ever hit in a single season. After a slow start to the second half, the veteran infielder appeared to increase his trade stock once again on Thursday. Cabrera went 3 for 5 with a home run and produced a season high 4 RBIs in the Mets 12 6 win over the Pirates at PNC Park. The victory gives New York its first three game winning streak since June 16 18. View full game coverage The 32 year old has experience being dealt right near the trade deadline. After spending the first seven and a half seasons of his MLB career with the Indians, he was traded to the Nationals on July 31, 2014, a few months prior to him becoming a free agent. Video, Nim at Pitt, Flores, Cabrera, and Rosario lead Mets to win now in his walk year once again, Cabrera isn't letting the uncertainty of his future with the organization negatively affect the on-the-field product. This is my team right now, Cabrera said. I'm not thinking too much about it. I'm just coming here to do my job. This is my team. Whatever happens, I can't even control that. I just come here and do my best, trying to work to help the team. Video, Nim at Pitt, Cabrera planks an RBI double off the wall Cabrera did, just that in the second inning, when he connected on an 0-2 curveball from right-hander Nick Keenum and smoked an RBI double off the right field wall, giving the Mets a 3-2 lead. With the score tied at four in the fourth inning, and Ed Rosario on base following a leadoff single, Cabrera drove a hanging 83 miles per hour changeup to right field for his 18th home run of the season. It was the 14th home run he'd hit while batting left-handed this year. Video, Nim at Pitt, Flores belts a two-run home run in the first He's such a good hitter, whether he's hitting right-handed or left-handed, Mets manger Mickey Callaway said of the switch hitter He covers so many pitches. I think it's a byproduct of seeing more righties, and he's had a great year The Mets never trailed again they extended their advantage to three runs later in the fourth inning and played it three more in the seventh inning and one in the eighth to open an 11-5 advantage. Cabrera led off the ninth with a double to right field and later scored New York's final run of the game on a Flores sacrifice fly. Video, Nim at Pitt, Mott's case Glasnow to match career high with nine Cabrera's offensive production helped provide support for left-hander Steven Matz, who tied his career high strikeout total with nine on Thursday. The Southpaw allowed four runs through his first two and one-third innings, but bounced back to retire the final ten batters he faced. It definitely felt like I settled in, Matt said. It was almost like I got a little tired and I was able to just stay smooth instead of trying to muscle up a little bit. That worked for me. I think it helped me out. You gotta see his brain freeze with the bases loaded and a two-run lead in the fourth inning, Devin Mezzarako dribbled the shot down the left field line. Freeze corralled it and appeared to be heading toward third base to step on the bag for the final out of the inning. After taking a few steps, he instead fired to first base in an attempt to throw Mezzarako out. He made an errant throw, allowing Brandon Nimmo to score from third and extending both the Mets' lead in the inning. 
video, Nim at Pitt, Nimmo scores on fielder's choice, error he said it all those little things are going to help you score more runs in the end, because you have more base runners. That's the one thing we've been missing is some consistent base runners. That way, when you pop the homer, it's a couple of runs instead of one. And when you get base hits, maybe you get more runs because you have guys on Callaway on the Mets improving their ability to manufacture runs up next left-hander Jason Vargas will make his return from the disabled list to start against the Pirates at PNC Park at 7.05p. M Eastern Time on Friday. It will be the Southpaw's first start since June 19 due to a strained right calf injury. Right-hander Ivan Nova will get the start for the Pirates. Mason Whitner is a reporter for MLB. Com based in Pittsburgh.